In this video, we're taking a look at a Diamond 3 Fade player on Ascent. If you're interested in getting coaching yourself, click the top link in the description. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Fade, fade, heal, heal. This guy's saying fade, heal. I'm not 100% sure, but it threw me off. Where are you? Okay, so I'm gonna say this just because I don't think it's the best. I would not throw I here, because like, in reality, you have two teammates. Yeah, you have two teammates that are gonna fight for your heaven anyway. The door is already closed. You can save I, and then you can throw an I lineup or something to allow yourself to like spam heaven if you really want to when you're more in an active position. Or if you are gonna throw this I, and you really want to throw this I to like delay a run in, then my piece of advice is say, hey guys, get ready for spam. I'm I, and then just go from there. Fight planted. What is this chat doing, bro? The shit backs know. it up. So this is kind of what I mean at this point. I don't mind the dog here. But at the same time, remember I said be confident in our aim. This is this yeah. is a point where your teammates are already out. Just fucking pull out your weapon and start putting kids down. I, I think this is just a you thing where, yes, I don't mind the dog. But also at the same time, think about what you've done. Your dog ate somebody here. Your eye is going to reveal sight. What is the only places you now have to worry about as a person coming in as a support player? Market and CT for the most part. I, I don't know if we actually cleared logs and switch, but like... Market, CT, probably maybe, maybe this, maybe this. There. And if you want to, there's a lineup where your tether literally lands right here. You probably already know it. Uh, you throw it from the same spot where you throw your eye. So you just literally go over it. And then when you're walking out, you'll know if this is clear. So the only thing you have to hard clear is logs. Yeah. If that's something you really want to commit to the utility, it's up to you. If that's something that just like eases your mind and ranked, go for it. You're a very textbook style of player, which isn't terrible, but it's just something that you need to get the habit out of. Because yes, there are rules in Valorant, but you have to understand when to break those rules. Does that make sense? Shadows yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Last player standing. One cat one. You're too scared. I would stand here and I would just post. So what's the worst that happens? He swings me and I lose the 1v1. Very, very worst case, the guy ran up mid and swung me from arches, right? And that's probably what you're concerned about. It's like sometimes you just have to risk things. If you're already at this point, just go for it. Let me ask you this. Yeah. In a team environment, if the enemy team can't stop you, would you stop running it down? Probably not. Yeah, if they can't stop you and your players realize that your players are just hitting some nice shots, they don't have proper setups, they don't have proper reactions, responses, whatever it is, would you stop running it down? No, uh, you probably just keep running it down until you it stops just, working. Yeah. Yeah, you just run it down until you win the fucking game. It's like, what are they gonna do? Yo, chill, chill, chill. chill. We, don't, we don't need to force A. There's 2A op mid and they have a res. So you're just gonna go mid probably and look for that res. So let's group outside A and off the res maybe we hit. You're explaining too much. Do you think these ranked players even know what you're saying? I think so. They're diamond. I I'll keep it a buck with you. When I talk like this, even in like Radiant, they still don't know what I'm saying. I don't think they truly know what you're saying. And also think about this. If your IGL explained all of these things on the team that you were coaching, would you say that she's talking too much? Because does your IGL have to explain her thought process and everything? Nah, she could have just said, yo, let's go A. Like if you say there's two A op mid, cool. Okay, now they know. Just get to the fucking point. If you're calling out where people are, sure. But the fact that you're like, Sage is probably gonna go mid with res, so da, 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 da. like if you wanna go mid to hold res, say, hey, let's go mid and hold the res. If you wanna go B, say, let's go B. Jeff, did you have a gun? Uh, I only go surf. Got it. So uh, can you start working towards us? Here's the thing. You're trying to micromanage too much here. Yeah. Like, Sova, can you work to us? What we gun do you die. have? Yep, I know you're afraid. The only thing you do is you coordinate with the people that you can coordinate off of. But the most likely person you're going to coordinate off of is Omen. So figure out a way. If you want to jump up lane and you want to try to play around the arena, you can do that. If you want to jump off Omen, play around the Omen. The Sova is in fucking La La Land. He does whatever he wants at this point. There's nothing you can do to control this person because he has his own thought, his own idea, what he wants to do and he's in a position where there's no way in hell you will ever be able to play off of this guy like literally ever you're trying to look at the big picture as like a team coach that's what you're trying to do and i get the thought process because i feel the same way when i play ranked let me put you in this perspective if you're coaching a team and your igl's on defense and your igl's the a player can the igl tell people what to go on what to do at b based off what he's seen not really, usually. Right? Everyone has to be able to, in their own head, be able to tell what the fuck's going on on their side of the map. So in this situation, post plant is kind of the same thing as defense. So the only thing you can control in defense is who the fuck you're going to play off of. If there's somebody on a late work, you just let them do their thing. You can't do anything about that. It was heaven. You calmed it. Face your fear. Okay, heaven push. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. 
You're, try you're trying to use too much utility here. You're trying too hard because you have tools in your kit that you want to use them. In this situation, your only objective, 4v2, play with your teammate. If your omen's planning, you can hold for the plant, that's fine. Just say, hey omen, tap bomb, hold heaven with me. You see how simple of a comet is? You try to use too much utility, you get punished for it, you get fucked, you guys end up dying because you just didn't hold your gun out. I'll find you. Oh, that's a good eye. Oh, first. unlucky. Wait, don't be scared. Wait, take this fight. You're just too scared, honestly. I've been missing a lot of shots, and it's like killed my confidence. Who cares? Miss shots. Everyone misses shots. I miss shots every single day. You know what's funny is I probably have a Twitter-worthy whiff every single day, and I still swing people like I'm gonna fucking put them down. You just have to believe in yourself. That's just a mental block. Literally every single time you swing somebody, swing to kill. If you are swinging here, Miss Reyna, look how hesitant you are. You're like... Uh, I don't want to peek too far. Bro, just swing to put this bitch down. I'm not telling you to fucking swing out here, but like swing yeah. with the intention that I am going to kill this Reyna. It's a, it's a completely different mindset. It'll help you a lot, I promise. All right. Uh, Zoe gets into gunfight. Zoe puts somebody down. Somebody breaks door. Puts the yeah, motherfucker so down. Do you see what I'm saying? You just put kids down. Just swing them. Okay. Okay, so here, here's the thing, right? I get what your guys' thought process is of like, oh, we're just gonna double up here and make sure that we're together. I don't mind it, but at this point of like the 22nd mark, you should realize that they're going A. Cause like, if they were going B, they would already been B. If they were going mid to B, they would have already been B. At this point, just go mid A and you'll be good. Just one of those recognition things based off timing, cause there's no way they're walking that far. Where are you? You're just kind of doing that thing where you throw your One utility mid. with no purpose again, you know? You're not thinking about what, what the enemy is doing. You're just yeah. doing that thing again. There's a bunch of bad habits that kind of creep up on us. And this is why I'm talking about you should watch your own bots. At this point, I think you're at the stage where it's like once every, like, you know, week. Just watch one of your own games back and just see how things are going. I'll find you. And we overlapped a util. That's sick. Sure you did. Enemy so worried about economy that I just fucked my util. So I... Reloading. And like also when you okay so, yeah, tiles so, are so you're you're just thinking dude this is just the common case of I'm trying to do too much we are trying to manage economy everyone's positions micromanage everything control what you can control focus on yourself and you will win think about your patterns what have you done every single round I've thrown a haunt and then just ran away so what do you think they're thinking they're thinking this fate is gonna throw a haunt like just sit outside and wait for it and then let's just walk up and kill them request so you're being readable exactly I I love the idea of using a rechargeable in the first 10 seconds of the round. You know I love that concept. It's one of my favorite ones to do. But you also have to understand why you're doing it. There are times where you'll even watch in pro play where they'll hold their rechargeable for the first like 20 seconds even. 25 seconds. And then they'll throw it. Sick. Yeah. Uh, I play for this. One enemy remaining. Oh wait, shoot her. Tiles, 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 tiles. Tiles! Oh, stop trying to calm so much. They know she's tiles. They're looking at her. Focus on your gunfight. Right? If you're behind a wall, call that she's tiles. Say tiles. You see how much you're trying to calm tiles. Tiles, tiles, tiles. tiles, tiles. tiles. You're just not focused on your crosshair. Look where your crosshair is. Tiles, tiles. One health. They can't hear me. They have no idea I'm running. Hello there. Yeah, exactly. I should just... Like, see, see Cookie? Cookie's a fucking Chad. Be Cookie. What is Odie hugging? Oh, this? It's a Squishmallow. His name's Watermelon. Isn't he cute? I like him. First number one, stop trying to control everything. Step number two, stop being so predictable. Three, comms. So in terms of our comms, stop saying everything, if that makes sense. Try to cut down the message we are trying to get across. And then what was it for? It's funny because you have the same issue as me, just swing things. We'll just have you focus on those four things for now. You can always go back and watch the VOD. You know that. Anyways though, it was uh, nice talking to you as always. I hope you have a good rest of your night. If you have any questions, shoot me a DM and I'll be there. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below because God, I'd suck someone's dick to get put in the algorithm. YouTube, if you're watching this, just let me know.